Fuddlingity, my name is Mighty Wearball. Welcome back to Dangan Rampa Trigger Happy Havoc. When we left off in the last episode, a mysterious note had been passed under our doors. Let's go see who wrote it and whether or not we're about to die because it seems like a shady note. This is where I find out that there was a choice you could just have gone to bed and ignored it, and I'm going to get a game over here. <coughs> Who is it? Hiro. Oh, Makoto. Hiro? It's in the letter I found in my room. Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Well, I always was taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet with me? Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? I'm just an errand boy on this. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? Huh? Okay, let's do it. N no, I... I was totally lost. Hiro grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close and whispered into my ear. It's all an act, so the mastermind won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? Then, did Alter Ego finish his search? Y you got it, Hiro. Let's go take a dip together. I was probably louder than I needed to be, but me and Hiro hurried to the dressing room. Oh, everyone's here. As soon as I got into the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. Hey you! How long were you going to keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost ten o'clock, you know. Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. Ugh, shut up! What did you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? Taka, he seems to be even worse than he seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. What? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know what? You know that? How rude. A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master. Hmm. Are you back to your gloomy, no normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. Sh sh shut up. <laughs> well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. You want the dust all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? Isn't it obvious? We gotta have, it's gotta have something to do with Alter Ego, right? Yeah, totally. Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The Mastermind's true identity? Oh, she didn't look too happy with it. May as well talk to him. I suppose we'll talk to everybody. <laughs> You're such a jerk. Assuming he's talking to Taka, not me. What do you want? Am I really the one you should be talking to right now? I'd rather talk to Jill, to be I want Jill. Can we, can we see Jill again? This may be about Alter Ego, but Kyoko seems to be kind of acting kind of strange. Like I said, it's almost ten. Hurry up and spill it! A clue, a clue! We finally found a clue! Come on, we gotta ask Kyoko what it is! A little cute wee kawaii face. <laughs> I can't imagine this is gonna be a good thing. It's nearly night time, is it not? If we absolutely must converse, I would least like to do it quickly. Kyoko sure is taking her sweet time with this. Is whatever it is really that amazing? I'm curious as well, as long as it's not boring. I should probably ask Kyoko what's going on before anything else. Oh, yeah, of course, I pressed the locker, didn't I? Of course I did. It's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. What? You're kidding, right? Huh? What? She's gone? You can't be fudging serious. What did you do with him? Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Maybe we just missed it. I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But if it wasn't the mastermind, then... The solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could only have been him. Mr. Ishimaru. You stole her, didn't you? What? In the ultimate moral compass? You would never do something like that. I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. You are the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. She knows what you know. This isn't, even, this isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Er... Wait, I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. Wrong, it's you. Well, I'm sure it was one of you. 
So whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. No, there's no way either one of them did it. Huh? Why not? I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. What? It was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. But I never heard any yell. Exactly, which means it wasn't them. Then who was it? The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind, and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, then quite simply it was someone else. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? How about this for a reason? There is a traitor among us. Huh? One of us is working for the mastermind. A spy. Spy! And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? This has come out of left field, dude. It, it can't be. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. The Mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the Mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible. Th there's no way. Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? I don't care! I don't care who. Someone, anyone, save her. Please, rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see your smiling face again. Same here. How many times do they have to kill Bro before they're happy? I'll beg. I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please give him back. This is pretty messed up. But still, I think I kind of get how they feel. I think Alter Ego is most likely they're still safe, for the moment at least. If they wanted to destroy it, they would have taken it. They wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. So you're saying whoever did it still has, has something else in mind for him. Something else? It doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. No matter what it takes, I'm going to get him back. That's my promise as a man. I swear I'll save her, using the power of love. Okay, so... Well, that's a development. Who stole the laptop and is... Bacula telling the truth. Mm, um, this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night, sleep tight, and don't let the bed bugs bite. It's night time. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone gets some sleep. How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. What good are you if you are too tired? You'll be much more effective after a good night's sleep. Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. That's another thing. She seems to keep asking me, as if she's trying to teach me something throughout all this. Taka, Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. <clears throat> okay, then let us part for today. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. And you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the mastermind. It does seem a bit out of left field, but then there was that six. There was that shadowy person talking to Monokuma. But was that a spy or is that the sixteenth person? Alter ego gone as quickly as he appeared. We finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope. And then when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like, just like what the mastermind is doing to us. Then, could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the mastermind? If that's true... No, it can't be. There's no way. I didn't even realise I'd yelled out that loud, that out loud. The scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it. 
I threw myself into bed, trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. If you haven't learned to distrust folk by this point, I don't know how much hope you have left, dude. Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, and with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Mm. Okay. Bit of a weird one. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and night time is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first. To the dining hall and breakfast. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found what I but but when I found out what was waiting for me, genocide, Jill, <laughs> or shouting match? No, is this it? What happened to the others? Aren't they coming? There were only three people in the dining hall: Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So, including me, only four people. God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. Anyway. Let's wait a little while longer for the others. So we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited. So it's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Why haven't the others come? Hero and Celeste have never missed a day. Till now. And what I'm really worried about is he for me and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego. And they're not here. Something must have happened. Huh? I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There's no way someone, something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive. Money. Ten, ten million dollars. I have prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's ten million bucks. Ten million smackaroos. It's like totally wowy wow wow, am I right? Don't tell me someone did something for money. My thought immediately when it came to money was Celeste, because she's a gambler and gamblers always want more money. But Sakura also mentioned not bringing up financial matters. But she's here. We'll see. We'll see what goes on. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood, and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here, and you can't consider it strange. Not really. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Okay, let's go track them down. Who haven't, so who hasn't showed up? He for me, Tak. So, don't think it's Genocide Jill. I think Bakula is just a wee gremlin that just wants to mess with people rather, rather than actually do get his hands dirty that's what kind of the uber rich usually do um oh he hero hero don't know about him hmm to me celeste makes the most sense for the next murderer because of the whole money thing but who knows we can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. Uh, okay, this takes me back there. I doubt anybody's dead in the first floor. If there's a murder, it'll be on the third floor because it's the newest. Nothing here. It's the newest, newest place to kill someone. Anybody in this classroom? Mm, nope. Apart from the note that's still there, I woke up. Oh, someone, come here. What? That was Hina. She's supposed to be checking the third floor. There was no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. 
She must have a hell of a voice to be able to be heard from the third floor. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away I saw her standing there in the hallway. M Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? I it's awful. The rec room door was open. And when I looked inside I saw... I saw... What did you see? I I'd better get the others, right? I I'm going to get them. Y you go on ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room? What did she see in there? By this point, I was used to acting without thinking. So without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. The first thing I saw when I got into the rec room was... It was Celeste, and she was hurt. Was she? I'm sorry, but I... I said this in the first episode, that she was the liar of the bunch, the world's greatest liar. Why should I trust her on this one? What is this? It's some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. There's some writing on the head. Justice Hammer 1? That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. Now I, I, I have cursed my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked with this, Justice Hammer 1. Were you attacked though? Makoto. Celeste, what happened? I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked? By who? I am not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. Makaro, Celeste! I found Sakura! Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. A uh, strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Well, I woke up this morning a little before 7am. Night time was not yet over. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now that that was a mistake. Anyway, that is where I saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me and... And that's when you were attacked. It happened after 7 a.m., just after nighttime had ended. So if it happened just after 7 o'clock, then that was about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. Well, I'm glad you weren't hurt too badly. That is because I begged and groveled for my life. You did? I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. So you are willing to throw away all your pride. It is a necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. I honestly don't believe a word. Like, sorry, the whole galaxy, the whole gamble and lion thing. I remember at the start. I, I honestly don't believe anything she says. Celeste, what do you mean by a serious problem? When I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him Hifumi. Hifumi? After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. You mean Hifumi was kidnapped? Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us? This is him from his hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean... I was able to photograph this suspicious individual without him realising it. Seriously? Let's see it! I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. <laughs> okay. I have many questions. However, the first one... How do you know that's a man? It's a fucking robot suit. Anyone could be in there. How do you know it's a dude? Huh? What? Well, we were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. 
Is that a robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes? So this weird robot guy dragged Keith from me away? And I took this right after being attacked. But you said you were knocked out after being attacked. How were you able to take the photo if you were knocked out? She is so full of shit. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no. There is much I don't understand, but... <laughs> the point is, someone dressed like that dragged Keith and me away. And it happened over an hour ago. Oh, it happened over an hour ago. Sorry, wrong voice. This is bad. We have to hurry. Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? When they left the rec room, they headed left. If that's true, they were headed towards the stairs leading down to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? The second floor? That's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. If the strange man did to head to the second floor, Kyoko might burn into him. We have to we have to hurry. Kyoko's in danger. Again, it's not a man. You can't tell who it is. They're wearing a fucking suit. As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed out of the room and down to the second floor. Hey, you two. Who's this? What's going on? What's all this fuss? Yeah, you guys playing a game or something? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Hifumi? Nope, no, we sure haven't. Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. We came here together. No, you're just stalking me. <laughs> anyway, can you guys help us look, out, look for them? Why, what happened? There's no time now. We'll explain later. Well, fine. It sounds like something interesting is going on. Hear for me! Kyoko! If you can hear me, say something! Her voice echoed in the hall in vain. Hmm? Did you hear something? Maybe. I think it came from the library. The library? Okay, let's go! We ran to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. When we opened the door to the library... Ugh, it hurts. It hurts. We found Hifumi seriously injured. Are, are you okay? I'm glad to see you're still alive. It's super bad though. Look at all the blood. How did you get hurt? That guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice. Uh, that's what I decided to call him just now. What are you talking about? Well, that's another hammer. It's a hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room, but this one is just as hammer too. And on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. You take me with that hammer. He bonked me right in the head with it. Because you had to go to horny jail. That's exactly why you got bonked, dude. A hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay. I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? I have never heard of such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? Let's talk Let's talk to everyone's favourite ma homicidal maniac. Oh, fat boy took a serious slacking. <laughs> yep. Robo Justice. I am glad to see he is still alive. Mm -hmm. Are you though? Are you? Um, that's not what I meant to do. I'm seriously happy he for me still alive, but Robo Justice? This just keeps getting stranger. Th that guy was Robo Justice. This Robo Justice you were referring to is this, is it not? But what the hell am I looking at? This is the one that attacked Celeste and he for me. Isn't that right, he for me? Yeah, that's him. I'm sure of it. Robo Justice. Robo Justice, huh? This just keeps getting stranger. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> hey, Robot of Justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? No! <laughs> Why is he here? Let us not concern ourselves with him. 
What we need to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. You're right, let's go! <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Okay, while that's going on, I'm gonna turn the fucking light on, because nobody can see shit. Ugh, everyone can see me better now. My lovely face, which is what you all tune in for. <laughs> we moved Hifumi to the nurse office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. How you feeling, Hifumi? You want me to take a look at you? I'm okay. I think it's stopped bleeding. I'm still kind of dizzy, though. Perhaps you should rest here a while. Yeah, good idea. The rest of us should get back to looking for that mysterious asylum, mystery assailant. Indeed, before another victim appears. The Justice Hammers seem to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. If there is a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it is even bigger than the first two. If you could hit anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure. Tell us what happened to you, he for me. Well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor, and that's where the strange costumed man attacked me. It must be what I witnessed at around seven this morning. After that, he dragged me to the library and whack! Didn't keep the hammer. That must have been a 30 or 40 minutes ago. At around 7.30, in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall. Half an hour after. Yeah, Celeste. 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 She's talking shite. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So we all have alibis. I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. This black underwear is black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night. Why do you know that? Isn't it obvious? Because I was peeking. <laughs> She's a fucking... Her character now is my favourite in this. <laughs> anyway, so that means Byakia and Toko were together at the time, meaning they also have alibis. And the only ones who don't have alibis for when Celeste and Hufmir were attacked are the only two we haven't seen yet, Hiro and Taka. That's it, right? By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Oh yeah, she was supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. Where could she have disappeared to? She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. She might be exactly as I suspected. Ho hold on. Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked, so... I'm not talking about who attacked them. Huh? I'm referring to what we talked about last night, who the mastermind spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko's working with the mastermind? That's not possible. Isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even revealed her true identity. Save this discussion for later. Right now, we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only going to be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. Understood. Take care of yourself. Okay, let's go. So, whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? Don't bother looking for reason from a deviant. So, what are we going to do? Split up and look around? Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of, even here. What's wrong? I saw a shadow. Something moving around at the top of the stairs. Really? Up on the second floor, then. You bastard. You won't get away from me. We all shot towards the stairs. He must be around here somewhere. Let's split up and corner him. She didn't see shit, did she? I don't know. I'm fucking doubting every single thing she's going to say at this point. Like, there's too many inconsistencies I'm noticing here. Maybe I'm just talking out my arse, but... But don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Okay, but what should we yell? Anything, it doesn't matter. Then is... Ha! Okay. Ha! Or do ya! Or do ya! Do ya! Or whatever you want. Just yell loud enough so we can hear you. <laughs> do ya? I have never heard such a reaction. Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go! 
Hey, Mr. Robot, where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're going to decommission you. We spread out in every direction to track down the costumed suspect. Okay. Classrooms. Art room would be the one to check, wouldn't it? Library. We are on the second floor, aren't we? Library's the... No, it's not on the second floor. No, I'll check the library. No, we already were... We already were in the library. Uh, I'll check the classrooms. I don't know. Nobody here. Leave the area, yep. Oh. Ha ah, ha! Ah! That strange cry. It had to be Celeste. It came from the third above floor above. She's on the third floor. I sprinted up to the third floor. Ever here, everyone? Everyone who heard the scream had come running. Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costumed man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. The strange costumed man that you have only spotted. And the only other one that was spotted was attacked. It's too easy, this one, I think. I say that, it'll be, it'll be fucking Taka. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. He must be down this hall. Come on, let's go. Oh, wrong voice. Ah, I'm not even paying attention to who's speaking. <laughs> what is it now? Achoo! Huh? <laughs> oh dear. Whoa, it really is. It's really true. But that doesn't matter right now. <laughs> Who's that? Ungya! Huh? What was that? It came from downstairs. It must have been he for me. He's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. What about the suspect? We've gone on all this trouble to capture him, right? So why don't we split into two groups? If you go to check on he for me and he ends up dead, or you happen to find him dead, I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. Very well. Then Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. I will leave the capture of the suspicious individual to Tokyo Sakura and Byakuya. We'll handle it. Just go take care of he for me. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina all ran downstairs to the first floor. He's in the nurse's office. Let's go. Nurse's office. Big love hearts. We stormed into the nurse's office, and what greeted us was a world of dripping crimson. Oh, he for me's dead. He got bonked. He got sent to eternal horny jail. Everything was covered in red. And in the centre of all this red was... He for me? Ah! It looks like something very bad has happened. You think? I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that he for me would be murdered. M murdered? You're not serious, are you? He's not really dead, is he? Like, like, are you ignoring the fact of what the... the like, the, how many dead people have you seen now? <laughs> oh dear, a body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. What the... That was the body discovery announcement. The body discovery announcement, when three or more people discover a body after a murder, that's what plays. And since we just heard it, that means... It must mean he for me. Someone killed him. One of us. One of us? And look at that. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. Something on the floor. Something that had also been on the floor after the last two surprise attacks. Was I wrong about her? I don't know. There's too much in the sort of contradicting evidence that's happened so far. Another hammer. Justice Hammer 3. And it's even bigger than the other two. Just as I suspected. One strike from that and you are finished. Then the killer. There can be no doubt the suspicious individual. Going by what Hifumi called him. The culprit must be Robo Justice. Whoever's hiding that costume is the one that killed Hifumi. Mitaka's always going on about justice. Would he dress up as a robot to do it? But wait. 
You saw him on the third floor, right? Running back into the hall. So how did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying like they they like teleported or something, right? We can figure that part out later. Right now we have to tell the others. You're right. And shall we go? Hina, snap out of it. Huh? Are you okay, Hina? So, sorry, I'm not sure I can move right now. I'm feeling kinda... This is a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. Okay, then I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. Very well. I leave it to you then. Okay, I'll be back soon. I tried to sound confident and upbeat, but I still hadn't stopped trembling from what I'd just been through. So, okay, he made a good point. If she had technically seen the killer where she saw him, why or how did he end up in the nurse's office? And then she seemed to kind of poo-poo the whole, what, did he teleport? So, I don't know how yet, but I still think it's Celeste. Everyone else is already on the third floor. I have to hurry. There's too much, there's too many, too many inconsistencies so far in her story. This is, this is where everyone was chasing this after the suspicious individual. Where was he headed? Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costumed man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. He ran off, going further down the hallway. Way into the back of the hallway. Yeah, like, there's only one way down the stairs, and that's not the back of the hallway, so she's talking pish. Back of the hallway, so art room or... I'll check the art room first, because number one, the hammers that are getting used as the weapons come from the art room, so... We may as well check in the back room, just to confirm it. There we go, missing hammers. Kind of obvious. I like how they took the time to paint on them as well. There wouldn't have... You're not going to say anything about that. Alright, whatever. You're not going to say anything about the missing hammers from the, the repository. Okay, so then at the end of the hallway is the physics room, isn't it? Is that where they would be? Oh wait, there's two rooms. Uh, I'll go this way. I can't see them being in a classroom. Physics room seems more likely. It seems like more... No? Oh, okay. As far as I can tell, there's nobody here. But still, I feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I can feel someone's presence. This presence. Is it coming from over there? In the back? Or here? Who's hiding? I leapt through the doorway. When I did, I found another nightmare. The second nightmare of the day was waiting there to greet me. Oh? Taka! No! Someone got Taka! There, in a pool of his own blood, was Taka. Dead. Huh. Taka and Hifumi. Two deaths. Hifumi's body discovered in the nurse's office. Taka's body discovered in the equipment room. I was witness to two nightmares, one right after the other. No, they weren't nightmares. This is harsh reality. And they both got bonked on the head. They both got sent to horny jail in the sky. The true nightmare of this reality. The reality I have to face every day. But still. Why is this happening? Oh. What are you doing down here? Oh, there's the, there's, there's the hammer. Another hammer. Now it's just as hammer forward. It's even bigger than before. Is that suspicious individual responsible for killing Taka too? Where's Hiro in all this? You're not talking. You're not talking. You, did you faint because of the blood? Toko? Don't tell me. Toko too? Relax. She, pissed, she just passed out when she saw the blood. The blood? Oh, that's right. When Toko was... Um, Toko... She has a fear of blood, huh? We've tried everything to get her to wake up, but no luck. Let her just leave her be for now. It's like he said, I should just leave her alone for now. But why is it Justice Hammer 4? Huh? What do you mean? Celeste was attacked with Justice Hammer 1, then Hifumi was hit with Justice Hammer 2. 
but this time it was just as hammer four. What happened to number three? Ah, what's the matter? Well, when you mentioned Justice Hammer 3, you just reminded me. Out with it. Do you know something? Actually, Tack is not the only one that's been killed. Hefemi's dead too. Oh, Hefemi's been killed? Yeah. Which is why you came to get us. Then we better go check it out for... Go check it out. Of course, come on. We're just going to leave Taka in a heap? And? <laughs> and Toko? Sakura Biaki and I rushed out of the physics lab. But as soon as we were out of the physics lab... Ah! Celeste? Aren't you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office? So something has... come up. Yes, I heard. He for me is dead, right? Well, that is not all. It is... gone. Huh? What's gone? It has disappeared. Disappeared? He for me's body has disappeared. What? What are you talking about? It's disappeared? Don't be ridiculous. Are you serious? What the heck is happening here? Everyone, back to the nurse's office. Again, we're just ignoring... We're just leaving Taka and Toko just lying in a heap. I practically leapt down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office completely out of breath. Where is Aoi? I couldn't believe my eyes. He from his body was just there a few minutes earlier. It just disappeared? Oh, there she is. Me and Celeste went to the bathroom, but we were only gone for like a minute, and then when we got back... This must be the work of the culprit. They must have come and carried the body away. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. We're all going to die here. We're going to die, just like those guys died. I don't believe this. I don't believe a body would just disappear. First there are two murders and now one of the bodies has been taken. This is unnatural. H hold on, what do you mean two murders? Taka has been killed. We found him in the equipment room. It, it can't be. Taka too? It can't be. It can't be. No! Hina, calm down. We're all gonna die. All of us. They're all gonna kill all of us. Then who might be the next... Who might the next target be? Tokyo? I completely forgot. She's still unconscious in the equipment room. <laughs> per Toko. <laughs> you left her at the scene of the crime? We didn't have a choice. She passed out and she refused to wake up. Pretty certain that strapping lassie over there would have quite easily have picked her up. So, she is still unconscious. Wait. So you knew she was still up there and said nothing? Why? That annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. We'd be better off without her. You... You bastard. Calm down. You forget about... You forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Everyone stop fighting. Right now we need to hurry back. I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Byakya, if something's happened to Toko, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> That's a bit of a burdich. Bit of a burdich. Two bodies. One's disappeared. Celeste's been making bullshit up. He, um, hippie dude, I've forgotten his name already, I was going to call him Hina, it's not Hina. Hiro has disappeared off the face of the planet. Kirigiri has disappeared as well. We shot to the nurse's floor and bolted up the stairs, heading back to the third floor. We ran back to the equipment room at full speed. He's going to be gone too, isn't he? And when we got there... Toko! Thank God you're okay. But right away I noticed there was something very different here. It was gone. Taka's body, which should have been right there, had disappeared. This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all this or something? No, it's not a hallucination. I know I saw it before, and what I'm seeing now isn't what I saw before. What? Are you saying Taka disappeared too? Stop saying disappeared. It didn't just vanish into thin air. Obviously whoever did this has hidden the body. But why would they do that? Hang on, hang on. Why did the alarm not go off when we found Taka? Alarm goes off when any when three or more people find a body. It went off for Hifumi, it didn't go off for Taka. Is Taka still alive? Was he attacked, but unconscious, but he's still alive? 
Hmm, interesting. I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Anyway, our costume suspect is clearly continuing his crime spree. We gotta hurry up and catch him before he kills all of us. Oh, I don't think you have to worry about that. Huh? Think about it. Who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Um, when he from his death cry went up, everyone here was together on the third floor. After that, we split up into two groups. And now this time, you all came here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who could have done this are Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. Hold on a second. Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. There's no question that she was in the dining hall with us. Hmm. You seem very adamant about defending her. Perhaps you are... in love? Yeah, because he just hops from one last... Oh, she's dead. Boom, we go straight to the next one. <laughs> that, that's not it at all. Well, anyway. Yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Which means the suspicious individual we're looking for can be none other than... Hiro. Which further means that there will be no more murders. The regulations are very clear about that. Oh, that's right. There's a rule that says you can only kill a maximum of two people. As long as that rule is in place, there will not be a third murder. If they were to break that rule... I mince ya! Mince ya without a second thought! Mince ya, grind ya, turn ya into paste! By the way, did you know that fist paste can also refer to shellfish like shrimp or crabs? Thanks for that. Indeed. So, since two people have been killed, there is no possibility of any more. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Byakia? Which means you knew Toko was never in danger. I still meant it when I said we'd be better off without her, though. Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. The two missing bodies. Two people have been killed, and their bodies have been hidden. The only one without an alibi, the only one who could have done it, is Hiro. But, is he really the killer? And what about Kyoko? If she's not involved in this case, where did she go? Hey, Makoto, what's the matter? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. Whatever. We need to find these bodies or our little narrative here can't move forward. Very well. Let us split up and begin searching. But, but... There is no need to be afraid. No more murders will take place during this case. I know that. I mean, I think I do, but... If you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Okay, thank you. No need to thank me. Then let's get moving. Yell out if you find anything. Biakia left the equipment room, followed by the others. I have to try and find the two missing bodies. And we're just going to ignore Toko on the fucking floor. <laughs> right, we're going to leave that episode and Toko there. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, always keep it loud, keep it heavy. And I'll see you guys in the next one.